Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm looking, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this economy bot. Let's get into the video. Now that you've seen how this bot works, let's start coding it. So first of all, you will need Visual Studio Code, Node.js, at least version 12, I believe. You will also need Python, and you will also need uh, uh, C++ desktop development installed. You can get that by going to visual by downloading Visual Studio 2017 Community and use the desktop development with C++ workload. That's uh, all just to be able to build one of the dependencies we're going to be using for this project. If you need help installing things, there is a guide on that, and I'll link it in the description. All right, now let's get started. Let's hit File, Open Folder, navigate to the folder you want to put the bot in. So I can I'm gonna make a new folder for this called Episode Five Economy Bot. So let's select folder, right click, new file, index.js. You'll also need config.json and in you need the file okay now you want to open up hit terminal new terminal and type in npm init dash y if it has if it has an error saying invalid name uh, try npm init without the dash y and name it something else like ecobot and hit enter now let's um install a dependency so npm install discord.js in map better SQLite, better dash SQLite, SQLite 3, and dash dash save to save it all into the package.json. So let's run that command, wait for it to install. While it does that thing, let's go into that config.json and add the following. We're going to need a token field, and we're going to need a prefix field. So let's set our prefix to a dash for testing. Now go to your index.js, we'll need const discord equals require discord.js const in map equals require in map in const config equals require dot slash config.json. Now let's do const discord, or no, sorry, const client equals new discord dot client and const eco equals new in map and with the following options so let's do name let's name this economy oh, let's, let's do clone level we need that to be deep fetch all we need false and auto fetch we need true Now let's just make the basic bot. So let's do client.on ready. Let's just make this console.log that we're ready. Uh, this needs to be in quotes and a comma after that. We are console.log ready. And client.login config.token. Now let's make a command handler. So uh, client on message async message. Now make sure you have this async here, or else you get an error saying that await is only valid in an async function, as we're going to be using await. So let's just do if message dot content. I put that exclamation point in front of this. If message dot content dot starts with if it does not start with um, config dot, no, sorry, config dot prefix, then we'll return if if message dot author dot bot. If it's a bot, it will return. And if message dot guild, if there is no guild, so if this is a DM channel, then we return. Next, we can do. Um, Next, we do the actual handler. So const args equals message dot con. Oops, sorry. 
message.content.slice uh, config.prefix.length we slice that dot uh, trim dot split slash plus slash g and const command equals args dot shift dot to lowercase now let's actually start with uh, our commands so to earn money let's just make a simple daily command so if um, message dot author no if so let's just start with a basic daily command to give ourselves money so we need to first make another um, in map which is going to be which is going to hold the cooldowns and we're going to use an in map for this so if the bot restarts it will still have everyone's cooldowns. Let's just name this const cooldowns. And then the name is cooldowns. Do if command equals daily. Actually, let's do const cooldown data equals a cooldown. Cooldowns dot get. Let's just do message.author.id dash message dot guild dot id dash daily. So what we can do now is we can do uh, if cooldown data is if if the uh, if I do first we gotta first let's just quickly parse int. So if that, if uh, the cooldown is, uh, if the, if there's still a cooldown, so if cooldown is greater than date dot now, then return. So return. So if the cooldown, so if the cooldown, like when it ends, if I ha if it hasn't um, ended yet, then we can return saying message dot reply. And inside of here, let's install one more package. So let's do npm install ms our save. This will make it so we can format the time nicely. So we can just do please wait dollar sign, and then we need to do parse. Oh, we need to do ms parse and first we need to import ms. So const ms equals require ms and uh, parse and ms parse and cooldown data minus date dot now and then let's do comma long true please and then this will this will say please wait however long like 10 one day 10 minutes and that's what the package ms does it turns it um it turns a timestamp or turns milliseconds into human readable time. So now after this, we can we know that they've uh, that they, they don't have a current cooldown. So we can just do we can just increment their their economy. So let's just make sure that they have something. So await eco dot oh, eco dot set or oh, dot ensure. We ensure that let's just copy this first part and for the add or close tick. Just, just just like that we need to ensure that that they're uh, that they actually have something or else the database will be null which might break the next step so we sh uh, they start out, let's just make it so they start out with zero dollars now we need to increment that so let's do uh, const current balance equals um, await echo dot get Let's just copy this. Do some formatting there. Like that. And like that. So then we get their their current the current balance. And then we and then we have to set up a plus five or however much you want the daily command to give. So let's do a wait eco dot set. Let's just paste that into there. Current balance plus five on uh, weights not necessary so we can just remove that for now and then we can do message dot channel dot send new discord dot message embed 
slash name this dot set title um let's do a plus sign do i have a uh so in for the title let's just make it a a cool money symbol um daily reward that's that description you have claimed your daily reward your new balance is now current balance plus five I should do a set color at the very end. Uh, I can make that green. There we go. So that should be the daily command. Now we actually need to set the cooldown. So let's do cool down dot cooldowns dot set. Do this, and let's just set it to date dot now plus uh, ms. Let's turn one day in two milliseconds so you can change this time if you want your day if you want this to be a weekly command you can name this weekly and change this to seven days or however you want next up let's add a work command which is a, another way to earn money so let's do next up let's add a balance command and check how much balance you have so if command equals val i can't cut there you go then we need to get their balance. So let's just copy this code right here. Just gonna get their balance. We also need to do the ensure part so that, to make sure that they actually have a balance first. So we can do a message a channel send. Let's just copy this over actually. And let's just name this your balance. Your current balance is, let's just put those into back ticks. So, so it's code blocked. And then we can just do current balance. You can change all these embeds however you want. This is just an example. All right, so there you go. Now we have our daily and our balance command. So let's just run this and see if this works. So we can type in npm, or no, sorry, node dot. Uh, invalid token. Oh, I forgot to put an actual token in. All right, to get your token, we need to uh, open up Chrome or whatever browser you prefer. Go to discordcom developers and head to hit. Um, you're gonna hit new application and name this whatever you want. Once you got, once you have that, you should be on a page kind of like this. You can set a name icon. Head over to the right, uh, left. Click on bot, and then there's there should be like a create bot button right here. Click that, it should be a confirm button. Click that, and then name it whatever you want, put whatever icon, but you want to copy the token. Go to config.json and paste the token in. You also want to head over to OAuth2. You want to click on bot, click on administrator, and then you can invite the bot with that link. So now, once you have that, you can type node dot once again. It should say ready. You can head over to Discord. I'm going to go to my testing server. Just go to one of my showcase rooms. And then we can just do dash bal. Your current balance is zero. That's perfect. Daily. And dash bal again. Your balance is now five. So that's your basic um, economy bot. You can add whatever you want now that you know how to uh, add stuff. If you want to subtract from someone's balance, you can change the plus to a minus in the equal.set. You can create like a work command, all that stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.